Hello, I'm Mike Russell from MusicRadioCreative.com. In this video, I'll show you how to mix voice with music so that the voice can be heard clearly. Okay, this is a question I get asked all the time. If you enjoy these audio production videos, by the way, do go ahead and hit the like button on this video. Also subscribe and ding the bell so you never miss another video. Let's go into Adobe Audition where I've got this lovely female voiceover from Rachel. Let's listen. Your Friday night dose of the best dance music awaits you here. That's it. And then I've got this wonderful Music Radio Creative uh, jingle which gets really loud at that point, as you can hear where I put the marker. At the start, it's not so loud. I'm going to want to mix these together so that I can hear the voice clearly on top of the music. So I'm going to do this in multi-track, much easier to mix voice and music together in multi-track or multiple clips together. And you'll see here, actually, let's uh, delete all the rest of the tracks so we can really zoom in on this. So delete empty tracks is what we need. And then zooming right in here, you can now see I've got a voice track and a music track. And you'll hear at the start here, if I play this. Your Friday night. Let's OCD that a little bit. If I play that now. Your Friday night dose of the best dance music awaits you here. Actually sounds pretty good. But if I go to a louder part of the music, it's not going to sound so good. And this is where the problems start to occur. Your Friday night dose of the best dance music awaits you. Okay, you can definitely hear the music is competing with the uh, voice and it's not so good. So lots of things we can do, but let's focus in on the quickest fixes and go more complex as we move on. So the first thing is to go to the music track, not the voice track. We want to work on the music track and we want to go to the effects rack and we want to look for uh, a special effect here called vocal enhancer. Not just for vocals, there is a music setting here. Switch that on and... Your Friday night dose of the best dance music... Already it's pulling frequencies out of the music that compete with the voice, really handy. Let me play that back and switch it on and off to show you. Your Friday night dose of the best dance music awaits you here. So as you can hear, when I'm switching it off, it was definitely increasing the competitiveness of the music. Uh, so we'll keep that on. You can do the same over on the vocals, of course. On that track, I can go into special. I can go to vocal enhancer. I can tell it it's a female voice. Your Friday night dose of the... Okay, and then obviously there's compression and EQ. I've covered really well in other videos, so I won't dive into that, but you could also do that on this voice. You could also go ahead and just raise the volume of the voice a bit, maybe by 1.5 dB. Take the music down by maybe a, a dB or so. Your Friday night dose of the best dance music. Already much better. People often say, well, how much should I take the music down by? It's all a case of using your ear. So I might say, well, take it down by 2 dB. Your Friday night dose of the best dance music awaits you. And you know, that's not too bad. I can definitely really clearly hear what's being said. That may well be enough for you. There are other ways. If you go into the window essential sound panel, you can actually tell essential sound this is music by clicking music and that this is dialogue by clicking dialogue. And then in the music, you can switch on ducking here, a duck against dialogue and change all of this. And it will look automatically duck your music for you with this pink dashed line. So that's quite a handy quick fix as well if you really need ducking. Uh, but one of the most accurate ways to duck music that I absolutely love is to add a little bit of side chain compression. Really easy. You need to add amplitude and compression dynamics processing to the music track and then you need to click this icon here set sidechain input make it a mono input like that now it goes yellow until i go to the voice track and switch the sends on up here so click that and then for send one we just go down we go to sidechain and we say dynamics processing on music that's slot two uh, and as you'll see when i click this this icon will turn from yellow to green to say it has an input Boom, done. And now, as I start to wiggle this line around, you'll hear the music automatically duck uh, in reaction, literally in response to what the voice is doing. So let's play it first of all. Your Friday night dose of the... No ducking going on at the moment, but you can see it's picking up the sound of the voice. Now let's try moving this line around. Your Friday night dose of the best dance music awaits you. Here. So you can you Your can actually hear the more I move this over here, the more it's ducking my music. And if I were to go ahead and turn this music back up, to say, well, plus one dB. Your Friday night dose of the definitely the music is competing a little bit more. Now I can drag this line down a bit and duck a bit more. Let's do it. Your Friday night dose of the best dance music awaits you. you can see the ducking there. Here. And you can hear immediately as soon as the the ducking has fin as soon as the voice has finished, the ducking pulls it straight back up. It's one of the quickest, most instantaneous ways of ducking music to voice and making that overall voice and music mix pretty well balanced. If you need help with this or you've got any questions, do post them in the comments down below. 